Jumizi, life from cafe, police station and Breakfast, lunch, supper, you know, why you ever had the business bank, come, come, come. Now, easy, my wife, you environment, so you're very serene. Into new do had a one can see, we have fun, papa, papa. Now, so today, I'm gonna pay more. Who could then be power mention? Oh, Ebiana and Keno, Michael. I don't praise the time, you know. No, it's my cousin, papa, papa. Now, and I'll mention what had the about you chung come on. Come on, so be very, very interesting. Now, so today, say, hey, na. Say yes, she. I sorry, Jumana. Oh, Morty. Church business, no. Oh, Morty. A quasum, you are soft for your own more tonium, your own more instruments. Nazi, when you know how work entertainment industry, no. Cause a quasum, they won't know what you win. Oh, I saw them on my itumina. If you live papa proud Sundays, and when you are gentle, and a pay more soft for a cook them be one mention of what they are meaning about your chunk of mompo no, yeah, about shep. What she paid Juman, of course, Mammy, I mean, because say on ye at Bishop Duncan Williams, I a Juma for over eight years. Eh, wa bo steady saka 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 se wetu tu kwa na saka saka se afu atonyom eli dama fwe bwe ya ko irazi ni nyimu nse no ane pe mo ano wahade ya mingi na babo chungu kama ma ma mano good morning good morning me me guest ni zin ize pastor ifeku shemen ni zin ni na mti shemen na mingi nde o a French name but o a Nigerian are you uh, uh, Nigerian? Yes, Nigerian. Okay. Nigerian. And uh, how long uh, are you in Ghana? About 10 years. In Ghana, let's say 10. Okay. 10, 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. Yes. Yes. It was 10 years, so I was in Ghana. But uh, it started in uh, the shop in Yojuma, so how, how many years in it? About um, in and out, in and out, say 15 years, but permanently about 10. 10 okay. It's 10 years. Okay. If you say you call action, chapel, honum pada, Worship leader, Papa. Yes. I, am I, 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 that involves singing, mm. you know. A worshiper is not an entertainer, mm -hmm. but a worshiper is somebody who carries God's presence to the people okay. and brings and ushers people into God's presence. Okay. That's where a worshiper is. Okay, that's it. Now, it's here, not the Muslim say, say, you know, say, and from Kofono and Konya Minimi Mat, they make it leading uh, the people to God. Now, let's say, in your worship, you are just singing. If you don't, maybe say, say if if you don't, if you are in the church right. and then you are singing, right. now you are not leading the people to God. Uh, yes. It means that you are just singing. You are not a worshiper. No. You, you, you don't qualify to be called a worshiper. No. It, it, the Bible says that God has made us kings and priests unto mm -hmm. Him. So the church, the entire body of Christ, we are worshippers, we okay. are all priests. But it says that God has given some people special gifts mm. to be able to lead the people. Not everybody can sing, just like you have, you know, uh, you have special people who mm -hmm. can, you know, treat people when they are sick. You have doctors, they are gifted in the medical field. Okay. There are people who can repair your car when your car is broken down. Mm. They are called mechanics, they are mm. gifted in repairing mm. cars okay you see there are people when when you have a broken leg you know there are people who are gifted mm. to be able to take your bones mm. in the same way when it comes to music mm. god has given people special gifts mm. to be able to sing skillfully you understand to lead god's people if i ask you right now you know, what key do you sing on like C or A, mm. I mean, you have no idea what those can be. Right, D. D. Mm. <laughs> you understand? Uh -huh. So, but we, when it comes to music, music, you know, it needs skill for mm. you to be able to know the rhythm, the the singing, the key, and all those things. Because mm. if you're singing, if I'm singing right, you know, right in front of you, and I'm my 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 
my voice is all over the place and you don't know when I'm going left or right or something, it becomes irritating in the ear. Okay. But you see, the thing about music that it has melody, mm. it comes with rhythm. Mm. That's what makes it music. Mm. You understand? There's, there's what you call noise. There's a mm. joyful noise. But when it comes to music, it has rhythm, it has sound, it has melody, mm. it has harmony. Mm. You understand? So, and there are people who are gifted in that craft mm. to be able to put that whole music together. Mm. So that's what separates them from you know the church not my church member who just comes to you know church to worship you know so the, the worship leader is there to direct you to tell okay let's sing this way let's all go this way let's go fast let's go slow let's uh -huh. and that's the physical aspect of it okay. but the spiritual aspect is also when you're able to really carry the presence of god mm. and bring people and usher people in just like the pastor mm. you understand yes we are all christians and we are all filled with the spirit of god and each one every one of us we have a personal relationship with God mm. but you see our men of God our pastors and prophets they are gifted in specific areas mm. that God has given to them to deal with certain issues for example if I want to do something and I need prophetic guidance yes I have the Holy Spirit and indeed in the New Testament we do not seek for prophets mm. you understand we have the Holy Spirit to guide us but you see there are special people who based on their gifting on their calling mm. God can tell them things that he will not tell you, you understand? So that is where the prophetic ministry comes in, okay. or the pastoral ministry, you know, mm. so that's that's not about this. No, don't, no, don't worry, you can mix it. Mix, 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 any sofu bring forward to them, Archbishop, Duncan Williams, and answer for so many years. What does it mean to you? There any sofu pain, not to them, any number to be with him and yes. serve for, for so yes. many years. Um, for me, it, it's a, it means a lot because, as a, as a gifted person, you know, one, one of the things that you must be careful about is not having somebody over you. Hmm somebody who can tell you sit down you are not going anywhere to sing today mm. somebody who can rebuke you somebody who can tell you no you didn't do this no you didn't do right you know somebody who watches over you is because one of the dangers about gifts is that people think that gift is all there is mm. and as a result they don't have character mm. you know and that is what has destroyed a lot of gifted people gifting but no character you find people who are gifted but they are proud. They can't take instructions. They are not humble. Why? Because there's no covering over them. You know? So being under the Archbishop over the years, you know, has been able to help me to understand and listen. Yes, I have my gift, mm -hmm. but then I have to maintain character mm. because my gift can open doors for me, but my character is what you know can sustain me. And you see, gifted people, especially gifted music ministers and gospel, you know, the tendency to be proud mm. and high-minded because you feel that I mean people are looking for you everywhere, people are calling you, mm -hmm. you have your gift and all those things. So I mean you are you're all that. But when you have somebody over you, when you have a covering over you, the person can tell you no 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 no. The person is, is not the person is not carried away by your gift. He can rebuke you. Mm. Your fans hail you but your covering rebuke you and tell you no no no. You will not go here, you will not or tomorrow or Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He, yes. He, he does that. He does he does that. He'll tell you no no no. I was supposed to do a trip well, I think sometime last month and he was like, No, you're not traveling. I need you to do this, that, that, that. So I have, I have to postpone my trip. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it, it's interesting because the Bible says that if you cannot submit to authority you cannot exercise authority mm. and it also keeps you you know protected from satanic and demonic agenda because as a gifted person you're on the devil's radar mm. the devil is after you but when you have a covering okay. like the archbishop like a pastor like a man of god they're able to sense danger they can look and say ah you where you're going to the way is not clear don't go you understand no that trip you're going to fast because I can see something there. Make sure you fast before you go. Make sure you fast. Don't, when you get to this place, minister, don't eat anything. You understand? So th that's why your pastor is there. It, it, it will save 
your mm. life. Say, I was cover Maybe be a honor, man, we two not what you will from first city. Say, and shut until the year can or has a bro, follow dosso. Now, my bone, Tofaka crowd, Mazamono. It's a air candom, no, my yen share, sicker some of them. A bacade, a ye, a ye, a ye, you may sicker, sicker, what you call a solitary or call. Is it beneficial? Like you make money. money. Um, definitely, when it comes to the work of God, God is not unrighteous. Mm. You see, that's one thing I, I like to put across there. God is faithful to bless you. God is not a user. When Jesus wanted to preach, he mm. took the boat of Peter. And when he finished using the boat, he blessed Peter with a bumper harvest. So God wants us to be blessed. God is interested in us prospering. Mm -hmm. God is interested in us making money. God himself has said that I delight in the prosperity of my people. Mm. So when you serve God, he indeed will bless you. He's not a righteous. Mm. But you see, when you now make the gift about money, when it's like everything is about money, 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 that is where the problem is mm. you want to go and sing here you charge you want to go and sing here you charge now i personally i don't charge it's a personal covenant between me and god i don't charge you understand but at the same time you know as a music minister who god has blessed and you have to travel and those things you have people working under you you have people you know that supply you certain services they also have families they also have to take care of their families and all those things and you cannot muzzle the ox mm. that treads the meal you know, so you have to take care of the people. So sometimes there are certain charges that come with music ministers because they also have people working under them. But you see, the danger of that is that when you make it all about the money, or for example, maybe God has designed you to be a blessing to a particular church, and then you put a certain price on yourself that won't allow the church to, be, to invite you. That means you have denied that particular body of Christ mm. of the blessing God has given hey, to you. Hey, on that note, Rebecca there say a gospel minister. No, so be before that, but but when you man now, on Saturday comes the scanner first to cry. On Saturday, but some like a court one, you have to go and perform. Mm -hmm. If somebody calls you to come and perform, let's right. say, or no one can some cry now. You don't. It doesn't have to be the main focus. You have to go and perform. Yes, money doesn't have to be the main focus. Because it's a ministry. It's first a ministry. Wow. Yes. Hey, it's and first on that a ministry. Note, you know, I think that um, instrumentalists have always complained. They complain. They they work with this church or but they don't pay them. Yes. In that instance, what's your take on that? Instrumentalists are we supposed to be paying them? Musicians or workers in the church? Yes. Or do you tell them? Yes, workers in the church should be paid hundred percent because when you look at the Bible. You know, when you look at the Bible, David was one that set up, was one that first brought out the, the template of a choir in the church. And God told him what to give to them. God told Moses specifically, give the Levites their portion. Mm. They had, from the offerings and the tithes that came in, the Levites, which comprised of the singers, it comprised of the security men, okay. it comprised of the, the car park uh, mm -hmm. attendants, mm -hmm. it comprised of the... Uh, the Cleaners, the record, the, uh, those who work in the church, they came under the Levites. So they had certain portions that we, they were entitled to. Mm. Yes, from the offerings that were taken, it came to them. The task, go and study scripture. If, that, in fact, that's one, of the, that's one of the things I'm studying, and my next uh, series of teaching is going to be on this particular issue. So, yes, music ministers should be paid. And in, in, the, in the Old Testament, they lived in the church, they lived in the temple. Why? Because God said he doesn't want them to do any other thing but to just focus in the temple. And that's because when you enter the temple then, praise was 24 hours from okay. morning to night. Mm. They took turns, you know, to, to give God praise. So they were living there. And because they were living there, God said they should not walk. They shouldn't do anything. But the other parts, you know, the many tribes of Israel were responsible for taking care of them. Mm. They should give them lands. They should give them houses. 
just make sure they are comfortable because you are serving God. And that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. I give an example, an instrumentalist. You are there from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm, that is, I'm giving my own okay. uh, schedule now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a church from yeah, Monday yeah, yeah. to the, Sunday. The only, the only day you have is Monday. But Tuesday you have wow. rehearsals. Wednesday you have service. Thursday you have some service or some rehearsals or revival meeting. Friday there's a meeting, Saturday you have rehearsals, Sunday you are there, then you, sleep, you rest on Monday, some Mondays, and if you have convention back to back, you are there, so you are there morning tonight, you are there, you are there, come rain, come shine. That is a full-time job. You should be paid. It's different if I'm working in a secular this and I come whenever I have the time, that's different. But if I'm there for you, and maybe the pastor is traveling, I have a program, oh, I'm going online, my, my keyboard is come and play for me. The person should be paid. It mm. is biblical. Mm. It's biblical. And it should be paid well. Mm. <laughs> well. Through <laughs> other life, where did they get? Should be paid well. Yes. Or tell me what you want to call you. You should better let's phone us. I know. Chop on the crowd. You should man. What's the word you want to call? Because when they do it, you know why you are so fierce. You see, I hope what you want to call you. Yeah. Oh, I saw her having you man. You want to call I. Oh, what's a marrying? Oh, yeah, Papa. Papa. Now I, I know that you have an upcoming program. Yes. Uh, the breakers. The breakers, yes. The breakers. The breakers. will break. <laughs> what are you breaking? Breaking chains, breaking bondages, mm. breaking it out of prison. You know, when you look at the Bible, the Bible said that uh, Peter was thrown in prison. And I'm like, how can the apostle, a man mm. of God, be in chains and in prison? You know, my papa always said something. He said, listen, we are living in the devil's territory. We are, there's evil in this world. Mm. And so the fact that you are a Christian does not exempt you from demonic and satanic agendas. So the here is Peter arrested mm -hmm. and thrown in prison. Mm -hmm. And he needed an angel to bring him out. So sometimes we we find ourselves in certain situations where we are bound. Where it's as though we are locked in spiritually. You just got to, you can't move. You are, you are trying, you are gifted, you have so many things. But it's like there's a force contending with you. At that point, Micah 213, you need the anointing of the breaker to break the chains. Mm. Physical chains, emotional chains, mm. financial chains. Wow. That's what the program is about. Wow. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, you program no record. Uh, where? Where is the, where, where is the okay. event happening? It's, it's happening at Action Chapel. Spring Church oh, okay. Road on the 28th of uh, of April, Sunday, exactly 4 p.m. Hmm. 28th yes. of April, Action yes. Chapel. Yes. Exactly at 4, 4 p.m. Yes. Yeah, but you can share more on the breakers. Now, yeah, yeah, how many uh, artists now are from Wado? Yeah, we have uh, three. Yes, F.A. Grace okay. and um, L.C. Otto okay. and Diana. So we have three at us. Power packed, power packed. Or by a camera, power packed. The breakers, young co, they can break it, break it. Yama generational cases, na zano. Very necessary. Very necessary. Young co, she mo hon on the twenty eighth of April. Na you can break. Na Martin there, you cannot be here and not sing. Hey, you must let us feel the voice. Do something for me. <laughs> Ate, to, to something to, to be my leaders this morning. Okay. I have some few minutes. A minute, another minute or two. So with the one minute. If we say, oh yeah, na na do yeah, oh da. If we say, oh yeah, na na do. Say, oh yeah, na na do yeah, oh da. Oh, thank you for blessing me this morning. Oh, you are so welcome. Let me show you bread. I'm going to turn on so every twenty eighth April Sunday action yes. chapel. chapel. Yes, the breakers. I'm going to turn on the break. Are we fasting? You're better faster. No, we're not, we're not. We've done. We're fasting before the program, but oh, on, on that day we're not fasting. Okay. You know, cafe bar no ani. 
had a swan is banoy come up. I would want you to try it. Okay, na ma me can show the twenty fourth century entrepreneurship growth to be or about the Zunzuns and a war Mikado conference center from the twenty ninth to thirtieth of April. So no more than that, ma'am. Eh, but ma koka landa nezo unho beshim. Send them for no. Eh, we be unveil books na zay on entrepreneurship. So no eh, you got that experience. No na. In your book, I ever can can I but to as a quack or share the entrepreneurship business no more to know, sir. A pair de a participator or a zero five zero eight one one zero seven five five and a debit from one zero five nine two four zero nine zero nine one. More thing the CCR no, you may be any baby, and to know you see a baby or one can't possible to where that start to business. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you uh, for blessing us this morning. Cafe Banu and Yami Insho won't be bread. I've been a baby. You better have a Tuesday. I will tune now. Woman, you kiss you now. Come, 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 pa. Oh, I had a nut. A year come, Mama belongs a production assistant. So I had a Wobber Coffee and Pedro. A year more producer, Papa, Papa, and I mean, sure, be brave. Oh, so don't pass me the blessings. If you pass it, if you honor, and I'm the brave Wobber Coffee and Pedro. Oh, studio honor. Business the front door president for the brothers and sisters association. CCRZ, Macron, Yamia Doma, Yabasan Yashia.